guys, it's Bethany, and as you know, fall is here, it is getting colder, the weather is getting a little colder, but um, I wanted to do one last back to school kind of DIY, but I guess this is kind of applicable at any time of your life. Um, so I made this planner for you guys, I really hope that you like it, it was super fun to make, and can we just appreciate how pretty these gold pineapples are, like I love this binder. So I'm really glad that I was able to find a binder at Target and I really hope that you guys enjoy this DIY and let's get right on into it. So to do this DIY I got a bunch of scrapbook stuff. I got a binder, some scrapbook paper, and other files that were cute. I got a single hole punch, some stickers, some scotch tape, a pad that I got from Target, and some washi tape. You will also need some regular printer paper. I got this really cute binder from Target and it's one of the mini ones so I can fit my planner in there perfectly and it's a nice compact and cute size. So I'm just going to open that up and because I want to be able to move things around in my binder I'm going to cover the inside with scotch tape that way I can remove and place and rearrange this binder a couple times without damaging the background that's really cute. If you decide not to use any of the background as a dashboard or something like that for your planner, you can totally skip this step, but I just think it's a nice precaution just in case I want to move things around. I got this notepad at Target in the dollar section. It's actually like a memo mouse pad or whatever, but I just opened that up and I stuck it on the inside of my binder so that whenever I have like an idea or I need to make a to-do list or I need to write something down that's on my mind then I can just simply open it and write it there and so I just used some double-sided stick tape and I put that on there and then stuck it onto where I put the scotch tape on the inside of my binder and I put it on the back so that when I open it it's not flapping all over the place um, but you can put it anywhere and then I put three hole punches in it so that I could put the papers that I wrote on in the binder in case I wanted to tear them out and put them in the binder for later storage. I made these cute monthly calendar pages by simply taking a paper cutter and cutting it in half. I layered it so that it's two per page and I found these images on Pinterest and I thought they were really cute but you could really go with any calendar page or make your own. And then I used a page that I'd measured earlier for my binder. I cut three holes in it and then to reinforce it so that when I'm flipping back and forth between the monthly pages I put some washi tape. I thought not only does this reinforce it but it makes it super cute. So I just did different color washi tapes on all of the pages and you can write in the dates on this monthly calendar that I got simply because then I can use it year after year and it stays the same. And I really liked the layout of this. Um, if you want a different layout then you can also pick a different calendar, but like I said, I just put those calendars in and I thought they were super cute. And then I made these really nice to-do lists by cutting the paper in half again and doing a three-hole punch. Then I took some markers and wrote a simple to-do list with the date and that way I can fill it out when I'm using it on that day. And then I did some daily goals, so like things that I want to accomplish today or things that I wanted to do. And then I also needed a reminder to stay hydrated. So. I like to try to drink 8 cups of water a day just because that's the generic recommended amount. Of course, it's going to be different for everyone's body so you can alter those to the way that you want. But I thought it was a nice reminder for myself and then I can just check them off as I go through the day. And I remember to stay hydrated and stay healthy and I have my nice to-do list. And then I also write a quote along the side of these to-do lists just because I like words and I like quotes, but of course you can write anything, you can draw a pattern, you can do anything you want. I just thought it added a nice touch to this side. To make these really cute, useful stickers, I took some Avery labels and I just used some markers and I drew some dumbbells for workout reminder stickers, as well as some shopping carts so that I could remind myself when I have to run some errands. And then I did a few dollar signs as well to remind myself when to go to the bank. And these are really easy. You don't have to write like go to the bank or go shopping. You just take a sticker and you put it on your calendar. So I thought it was super cute and useful and they're really colorful and nice and totally practical so I love them. So to make a pocket for my stickers I'm going to take one of these pages that was on my memo pad and I'm just going to fold the corner over and then I'm going to cut halfway down and fold that up to match the middle and then cut it again to cut that corner all the way off. 
Then I'm going to take a glue stick and glue the lower half of the corner that we folded over and that will match and then we can fold it in and it makes a pocket. Then using washi tape I'm just going to do the corners so that it's fully sealed and some double sided stick tape so that I can adhere it to my binder. And then it can hold the stickers that I just made and it is super cute and super functional. Next, I am going to want to make a divider to separate my pages and my planner, so I'm just going to take a calendar page and some thicker paper or cardstock paper, and I'm going to size that to the same size as my calendar page with a centimeter over. And then I'm going to do the same with both sides since my paper was big enough to make two. Then I'm going to punch three holes in it and take some washi tape and I'm just going to line the outer edge with the washi tape and I'm going to make a tab by folding it over and making sure that the washi tape sticks to each other about a centimeter or two centimeters off and then I wrap that and trim it and it makes a really cute tab that is flexible so it's resistant and it won't tear. And I just repeated that with the other washi tape color and they look super cute and they stick out enough that they can be found but they don't stick out out of the binder when I close it. Next I'm going to show you how to make these little page tabs. So I'm just going to take the same washi tape that I've been using and I'm just going to use the same technique as the tab. I'm just going to fold it over and leave one little end sticky and then I'm just going to cut out different shapes and I did it with all different colors and I thought they were super cute and I just collected them on the top of my binder. Next I'll show you how to make this really easy pocket. I used 12 by 12 scrapbook paper to create this project, so I actually had enough scraps to create a pocket, but you will just need a page that was the same size as your calendar pages, and then a paper that can wrap around the bottom of that. So I'm going to use some double sided stick tape to make a bottom pocket side, and I used a scoring blade because my paper was thick, but you don't have to, you can just fold it around. So you're just going to fold that under and tape it again to make the pocket. And this is a pretty shallow pocket so you could double up on the paper if you wanted to but this fit my needs and I thought it was really cute. And it just sticks there in the front and I can put stickers or papers or receipts or whatever in there. I also wanted to add a protective and decorative element to my planner so I just used this plastic with stripes on it and I traced around my page and I just cut it out with the right size. And I used my newly made pocket as a guide to punch out the holes, so I just used a standard hole punch and I'm just popping out those holes and it looks super cute and it goes right in front of there. So it protects whatever's in my pocket as well as adding a really fun decorative element. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it and that it was a good way for you to make a planner for yourself that is not only useful for you but also cheaper than some of the other planner options out there so I really hope that you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments and I'll be sure to get back to you and if you liked this video and would like to see some other DIYs or videos like it please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and I love you so much bye